What's going on, everybody? Brendan here, Dad Planet. I hope everybody's holiday has been going wonderful. Some of you may even still be celebrating. It is the 28th of December, and this is going to be like part thrift haul video. So I haven't had many opportunities to go thrifting, but I do want to show you some of the interesting things that I have found in the last day or two. And in addition to that, I have a super special announcement uh, just a little bit later on, and I'm going to take you through uh, something that was like just insanely magical, like winning the lottery yesterday with my daughter. So anyway, let's get into the thrift haul, and then we will take it from there. All right, so the first item I sourced is these Niles outdoor, like granite, granite rock outdoor speakers. I don't know if this is RS5 or RS6. They're very cool. And quite honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna test them. They look like they're okay. Um, but I'll show you the bottoms. There's Niles. And uh, I don't know if that number has any significance, but if, um, and you can see I paid eight, I actually paid $8 for the pair, not each. So they were uh, four bucks each. But if they work and I can figure out how to get them to work, you're looking at, I would say 80 to 100 bucks per speaker. So, uh, 160 to $200 for the pair if they're working. But like I said, I have no idea how to test them. So that'll take me a minute to figure that out. And uh, yeah, good one. So we'll move on to the next one, which is uh, a mug. It is a Fire King mug. And I thought it was gorgeous. You can see Anchor Hawking Fire King right there. Like an ombre style color, like orange to yellow. Um, not a huge seller regular price so it was 99 cents no chips no cracks no crazing of any kind i mean maybe i maybe i'll get uh ten dollars for this if i take excellent pictures and uh you know sell it to the right buyer but they it's like a it's like a five to ten dollar mug not much after that maybe eight to ten ounces it's pretty small but i thought it was pretty and you know there's still a market for fire king related items so whatever we'll get that listed and you know just sit wait till the Wait till the item sells. Move on to the next one. Uh, these are a pair of Nike fly knits from 2018. These were actually in the regret cart. It's like where people uh, take the items that they had in their carts and then throw them in another cart and as they decide not to buy them at the last second. It's like a cart that Goodwill puts next to the register. So yeah, this was in the regret pile. Uh, and I saw them and I was like, well, these are in pretty decent condition. So um, I paid $4.29 for these. The soles are pretty much uh, immaculate with the exception of that little skid right there, but that's nothing. So, I mean, these are, these are gonna get, and they're size nine and a half men's. I'll probably get between 50 and $60 for them. The majority of the ones you see listed are brand new and they're listed for around 120. So I think I can come in at half that with the condition that they're in and do pretty well. So that's, that's probably what I'll end up listing those for. Uh, the next item, I'm gonna need your help. So it's a coach pouch, and I don't normally source coach bags or bags in general. I mean, I've sold some Burberries and, and uh, some high-end bags before, but I don't really seek them out. It's because I'm just not comfortable doing that. But if you take a look at the zipper, you take a look at the stitching, and you take a look at the jewelry, Everything looks, I mean, it looks like football material leather. It's in fantastic condition. It's not just the pouch, by the way. It has a passport holder in it. And I'm gonna, sh I'll show you the like code that's inside there in a second. Uh, and then here's the, here's the tag. So the, like the luggage tag. Now you see made in India. A lot of coaches made in China. Some coach is in fact made in India. So that's not like an automatic indication that this is not authentic, but look at the stitching. Then look at the jewelry and then I'll show you. Um, it says passport right here. And then coach New York there. Let me see if I can find that tag. Okay, so there's a tag in here. There's one that says made in India. And then below that, here are, here's the number, F16446554B. B. Now I've tried to find information on that number and I, I can't find anything. I don't see anything similar to this bag, uh, this pouch and then this passport holder. So if I can't really verify that this is authentic, I'll probably just throw it away. What did I pay for it? Does it have it on there? Maybe I took the, oh, I took the tag off. I paid $2.99 for it. 
I already removed the tag. But I mean, it, all all signs point to this being authentic. I mean, it's just in fantastic condition and looks looks beautiful. So I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you can figure out something that I'm maybe not um, catching because it it looks like it's insanely high quality. So I, w I don't have any idea how to price that. Uh, if it is, but um, I got to find out if it's if it's actually authentic first. So anyway, we'll move on to the next one. Um, I thought this guy was cool. There's nothing special about it. It's just a uh, Howard Miller, like oval cut glass uh, mantle clock. Now there is one you can see I paid two dollars and ninety nine cents for it. There is one currently listed on uh, on eBay for forty five dollars, I think, for our three nine nine nine. And so I will probably, I mean, I have to, you know, test it to make sure that it's, that it's working. But if it is, I'm going to probably list mine similar. I'll just probably also list mine at $45.99 and just beat the other seller with excellent pictures because their picture quality is low. So um, I did look at pick click and uh, it's been a while since one of these is sold, but it, one did sell for 30 bucks. So I'm, I'm happy coming in at 45 and then we'll see, we'll see what happens from that. Um, but yeah, it was a nice clock. I don't do a whole lot of clocks either, but, uh, you know, I, I felt like I couldn't pass that one up since I was so pressed for time today to do any sourcing. And then here's the last item, which is, uh, one of my favorites that I've sourced in a while. So you can see I paid $5 and 99 cents for this. It is a Christopher Radko Nutcracker Crunch, uh, three foot feather tree. So this guy here, Christopher Radko does an ornament of him. So he's pretty popular. He sells well. But the whole tree itself stands about three feet tall. Now it's got to be posed, you know. This this it's not in like absolutely perfect condition. There's a, just a few like minor issues, but all of this is posable. So and then of course you can drape it with more Christopher Radcore orna ornaments. There are really no comparables that I can see on this guy. So it's really hard to say what I'm going to end up pricing it for. I mean, I feel like. I could price this at 250 and get away with it for for a while because the buyer of this uh of this item is likely going to do exactly what I said like hang more Christopher ornaments uh from the tree. So it's going to be a collector. They're likely going to have no problem paying that price, but again, I'm guessing because I don't know that there are any comparable sales. There have been some Halloween, there's like a Halloween jack-o-lantern Christopher Radko feather tree that sells quite uh, fairly often, but not not in the two hundred and fifty dollar range. So I don't, you know, we'll we'll see. It'd just be be me taking a uh, taking a stab and and seeing how it lands. And yes, it's it's after Christmas, so you know who knows how long I'll be sitting on it at that price. Maybe it sells immediately because of its rarity. I don't really know, but yeah, those are it. I mean, not that many items. One, two, three, four, five, six six items that I liked, and uh, and uh, yeah. So uh, hope you enjoyed that part. All right, so from time to time, my daughter and I will watch a like a very prominent YouTube Fortnite player by the name of Andre. Typical Gamer is his handle. The guy has almost 11 million subscribers, and all he does is play Fortnite. At any rate, he did something unique recently. So he bought a box of Pokemon cards. and Well, not just one box. He bought a, a ton of them, looking for a really rare card. And, you know, as the, the stream was going on, he eventually opened the card, which was like insane because, you know, it's worth between 600 and a thousand dollars. In fact, I'm going to link in the description. I actually did a bolo on it. I think it was in maybe one of my Money Monday videos or, or, uh, or, uh, Toy Thursday. It's one of those, but I'll find that and I'll link it in the description because I want you to see not only that bolo, but all of the other bolos in that video. At any rate, uh, he opened up the card. It was amazing. My daughter and I thought that was really fun. So for Christmas, she received, this is my oldest daughter I'm talking about, she received a Champion's Path box, just like the one from the typical gamer video. And so I thought it would be fun for us to do a video, not a live stream, we just videoed it for our own whatever, um, maybe to enjoy a little bit later on. And uh, so the box of Champion's Path cards that she ends up getting for Christmas. They have only 10 packs in them. So he must have in his video had like, I don't know, 50 boxes or something like that because it was a four hour stream. But he found the card and I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen, out of those 10 packs, when we got to the eighth pack, we sourced the rare secret Charizard VMAX rainbow card. And I am going to, and I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll actually show you, 
uh, I'm going to send it into um, to PSA right here uh, and have the card professionally graded. I could not believe our luck. So we actually found that rare Charizard. And it's interesting because it's a 2020 or 2019 card and there aren't that many Pokemon cards that are commanding that type of value. So for a 2020 card to already be worth that amount of money after grading is pretty outrageous. So uh, we are extremely, extremely blessed. And really, I wasn't even, you know, I didn't even think that it would be possible to source that card. I just wanted to have fun opening a box of cards with my daughter, like the YouTuber that we watch and that, you know, that she, uh, that she enjoys seeing. Um, but what's in this for you? So I went out and I bought the exact box uh, sealed right here. And I'm going to give that away in this video. So I need something from you. Um, you're going to get this for free. I'm going to ship it to you for free. So I need you to do two things. First, make sure you are subscribed. And then in the comments, in the comments, mention that you just subscribed. And I'm going to max this out at 30. Once we get 30 comments of 30 new subscribers, I'm going to pick one of you at random and I'm going to send this to you. Now, is the rainbow Charizard going to be in this box? The odds are very, very low, but you know, it could be a wonderful experience for you to share. Maybe you're a Pokemon fan, or you can just flip the box on eBay and sell the thing as is and uh, yourself and, and make some easy money there. Um, but yes, I have one and I'm gonna give it to you as a thank you for being a subscriber. And once we hit 30 new subscribers from this video, I'm gonna pick one of the 730 or 750 of you at completely random and send you that box for free as a thank you. So that's it, real simple. New subs, let's get 30. Make sure you comment so that I can verify you in the comments and then boom, one of you is gonna get the chance to open up the Rainbow VMAX Secret Charizard from the Champion's Path Elite Box, just like my daughter and I opened and uh, had so much fun with yesterday. So yeah, real, real simple. And again, I thank you all very, very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.